everyone. Welcome to my channel. Today I'm Tara with Pieces of Tara Artistry. Thank you for joining me. So I'm going to be doing a pearl pour with a Dutch pour over top today. Um, and I am using this custom light blue grain and it's basically my drips that I have saved in a container and I just keep adding to it. And then I'll just throw in a couple of dabs of the satin enamel once I strain it. Um, this is the, the colored uh, satin enamel base recipe. This is if I am starting from scratch, not from my drips. So that is the recipe. I am prepping my edges. I forgot to do it before I started here. So you'll see me adding in this um, just straight from the tube paint. Uh, it is twofold. It makes sure that um, you don't see the canvas show through because these are thin paints. Also, it helps the design to stick to the edges so that you don't have like bare canvas showing. So I'm using the white satin enamel recipe. So this is it along with that colored um, pearl cell recipe in this one. And this is actually one of my absolute favorite pieces that I've done in a while. It turned out so pretty. And what I really actually liked about this one is that the pearls were pretty big. They, they were, um, they took over a large part of the painting, but the Modern Masters Gold that I used as the pour over color is like stole the show on this one. Um, if you guys have watched or done pearl pours, you know that metallic paints as a pour over color typically do not work. Um, just because their density is so light that it doesn't allow the pearls to pop through. But Modern Masters is kind of a beast of its own and um, whatever the makeup is it, of it is, um, it really sell, it pearls well. So you're going to see that in this. And I do, I have a series that I'm going to um, show you uh, in the next few videos of how well this Modern Masters paint works. Um, but it's amazing for a pour over uh, color that is a metallic. So you see here that is the pale gold from um, Modern Masters and I, I'm not sure if you saw the, the squeeze bottles but those squeeze bottles are my new favorites. They're from Fluid Art Co and they, um, they have like Measure, they have measurements on the sides, which are is awesome, but also they have like places for you to label like when you mix the paint, what colors they are, your pouring medium. So that is really helpful when you use multiple different pouring mediums, but you do store your paints. So I love those. Um, Fluid Art Co. sent me a few and I tried them out and I love them and I ordered a bunch. So um, so yeah, they are amazing. So anyways, back to this painting. Um, with the pour over paints, you do not mix satin enamel with those. Only your base paints are mixed with satin enamel. Uh, the pour over paints, I did show the recipe. They are the same as my Dutch pour paints. So I use them interchangeably. Um, and if you look there, you see that once I start seeing those pearls start popping up on that edge. I tilt back towards the center from the other edge because I don't really love wonky cells. Like there are a few in here that are a little wonky, but they kind of straighten themselves out in the end. So I'm not terribly upset about it. But yeah, this one, I loved all the pearl cells in this. And I loved that I used the white on the ends uh, and that blue in the center. Uh, it does give like it gives multicolor pearls, um, but it also gives so much contrast that um, once I add in the Dutch pour, you'll see like it really turned out pretty. 
And so I really hope you guys like this one. Um, if you do, please leave it in the comments below. If you have any questions, of course, always ask. I am super happy to always help. Um, I have a lot of people um, asking me questions all the time and I totally don't mind. You can email me, you can ask questions in the comments, whatever you wanna do, but yeah, I'm always happy to help whenever I can. So I'm just kind of letting you watch now to see the pearl development on this one. And um, they, I actually, if you look towards the, like the outer edges, I love that the pearls get smaller as you get to the edge and then they get bigger towards the middle. And I think that's because you have less paint on the edges, more paint in the middle, so it allows those pearls to be larger. So I am starting here, I'm just gonna do a very simple Dutch pour in this one. And I was actually kind of excited because normally I don't like the pearls to eat up my Dutch pours, but I was kind of hoping for it on this one um, to, because I did another couple pieces and I didn't video it, but the pearls kind of ate through the Dutch pour and it made, it was so interesting. So I was kind of playing with that in this one, hoping that the, the pearls would kind of eat more of my Dutch pour and it did not disappoint. Um, so I really, really liked how this turned out. Now at this point, I was a little worried because in those Payne's gray areas, I wasn't sure that it was, it looked to me like the paint spray was fading and it wasn't going to hold up and it wasn't going to dry well, but I was wrong. Like this painting dried so well. It's so pretty. Um, there's really no, there was no issues at all with it drying. So I was really, really thankful. So here you can see like, it dried gorgeous, gorgeous. And sometimes with pearl pores, they'll dry like chalky and weird, but there was no chalky weird parts to this one. So I was really, really happy. Like I, I did zero embellishing to this one. Um, so yeah, it, it was, it's, it's really, really pretty. So this one's heading to the Fluid Art Experience. Um, it will be in the gallery there. Uh, so yeah, here it is guys. Let me know what you guys think. Let me know how, um, if you guys, you know, like this technique, um, let me know your thoughts and yeah, thanks again for watching and I hope to see you on the next one. Bye guys.